from the KATC Weatherland. Here's Rob's forecast. Welcome back. Well, our dreary pattern continues. We see clear skies not too far away, northwestern sections of our viewing area, but it's going to be a while before the rest of us see some sun. It'll probably be about uh, late tomorrow afternoon before most of us see some sun, and we have some on Friday. But clouds and rain coming back for Saturday. More on that in just a bit. First off, though, today we have a drone shot uh, leaving the KTC studios, taking a cruise around the block and looking at the uh, strata form clouds across the area. We saw a lot of thick cloud cover. Notice ah, we're looking off to the northwest. That's where it's clearing and you can see the brighter skies and some clearness. And then uh, as we continue to pan around, it'll get grayer and grayer with time. And again, some Virga. We did so show plenty of precip on the radar, but most of this was evaporating before it reached the ground. But a little bit of surprise that we saw action on the radar. But anytime you have the subtropical jet stream overhead, you got to be ready for a surprise and this time there was a little bit of a disturbance down here in Mexico. It was got caught in that subtropical jet and then produced some of uh, those light rains that pretty much evaporated across the region, but certainly a little bit of a surprise for today. Always have to watch this subtropical jet. Now it's going to be easing a little bit further to the south over the next 24 36 hours and that does two things and it helps clear out some of the clouds, but also will bring in colder temperatures. So as we look at the big picture across uh, much of the US, snow flying across the big sky country, the northern plains, the upper Midwest, the Great Lakes and the Northeast. Buffalo, New York, expecting a couple of feet of snow as we go into this weekend. The lake effect machine is going to be turned on for Buffalo, uh, Watertown, New York, and then a few other places back to the west as cold air goes over the warm lakes and picks up moisture and dumps it as snow. And you can see some pretty good snows all the way into Indiana, Ohio, even northern portions of uh, Kentucky as well, and a few snowflakes making it as far south as Tennessee. Now, locally, our weather, you can see the uh, Virga or the light Precip that's moving on. Now we're waiting for this clearing line to come in and it's going to be a slow process, but provided we begin to clear out later on this evening, our temperatures are going to get a little bit colder and that's what we're showing on the latest graph model. Skies clearing out, temperatures getting down into the mid to upper 30s and then for tomorrow, more high clouds out there, but we don't clear out until the afternoon. So kind of a cloudy morning, maybe a sprinkle down by the coast and then into the afternoon, we're going to see mostly sunny skies, clear conditions tomorrow night. So we go from chilly to cold near freezing as we head into Friday morning for most of us. Uh, just plant plants and pets don't need to worry about the pipes. And then as we head into Friday afternoon, clouds begin to increase and then going into Saturday, clouds thickening up with a weather system uh, getting cooking out in the Gulf of Mexico. And we're going to be on the northern flank of that wet weather system. Uh, you can see there'll be showers and storms offshore. Some of that rain though working its way into Acadiana. So I have a 60% chance of rain on Saturday, but it's going to be mostly light nuisance rains, not a whole lot of rain, but it could make for a relatively gray day and we've had plenty of those and got plenty more on the docket. Now overnight tonight, mid 30s, northern parishes. These areas you may want to certainly cover the plants as you'll be a fair bit colder as you get farther to the south. The cloud cover and the hesitance of that cloud cover to clear out will hold us in the mid to upper 30s I 10 quarter and pretty much the same along the coast pushing the lower 40s as you get to Cameron and Morgan City. Now temperatures tomorrow topping out in the lower 50s, northern parishes of Acadiana, low to mid 50s I 10 quarter, much the same down along the coast. So we stay locked in in a temperature pattern that's some 15 to 18 degrees below normal. Then for tomorrow night, Friday morning, this is when we're seeing that light freeze again, not a pipe buster. Just have to worry about the plants and the pets. Temperatures right near freezing I 10 quarter, including Lafayette, which uh, as you get to the I 10 quarter this is going to be the first freeze of the year. Not so for northern portions of Acadiana and a light freeze frost all the way down to the coastal parish as well. So uh, today I move the plants under the overhang and then tomorrow I'll be covering them uh, with some sort of covering for sure. So 37 the overnight low, colder night ahead as the clouds uh, thin out through the overnight hours, cover the plants, northern parishes, and then for tomorrow we're going to see temperatures getting into the mid 50s, uh, staying cool with mostly cloudy skies.
skies. Few intervals of sunshine though for the afternoon, which will help finally cheer things up a little bit. And as we move into Friday, good looking day there after a light frost in the morning, a nice afternoon. Here comes the rain on Saturday at 60%. We showed you the graph model and the Euro model showing a pretty good soaking getting close. So uh, we got to play it that we're going to see some rain on Saturday. Sunday will be drier and that is the good news there. The rest of the 10 day forecast looking cool as we go into early next week and then milder temperatures mid to late next week, but it could get a little stormy as well come Wednesday and or Thursday. We'll have more on that in the days to come. Of course, that's it for weather for right now. We're going to have more coming up right after the break.